Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, so we're just here in beautiful Fort William on a lovely sunny day. Um, we're just about to start the Great Glen Way and uh, that's actually a, about a 70 mile, 110 kilometer trail starting here in uh, Fort William and heading up to Inverness. Um, we're going to be wild camping most of the way. Uh, we've got a campsite I think booked for one night, but otherwise we're going to be wild camping. Um, so the plan for today is basically to start off here in Fort William. We've got about 30 kilometers and we're going to be uh, stopping up somewhere along Loch Lochy, I think. Yeah, so we checked the map, is is Loch Lochy. Um, so it's actually a trailblazer rest site. So it's kind of like an in, uh, unofficial, official sort of uh, wild camping spot. Um, and we're actually going to pick up a key today so that it will allow us into the um, composting toilets that are there. So that, that will be useful. Just making our way through the suburbs of Fort William at the moment and um, we're sort of hooking round the sea lock at the moment heading towards the the start of the Caledonian Canal um, which is what we're going to be following for a big chunk of today um, before it meets Loch Lochy so at the moment we're just heading heading round the lock and that's where we're going to be finding the canal office where we'll be able to pick up this key um, which will give us access to uh, composting toilets and showers actually along the canal so we're actually going to be doing the Great Glen Way over five days. Um, so not too quick of a pace. I think our first and last days are around 30 kilometers and the days in between are around 20 or just under 20. So there's different ways of doing the Great Glen Way. There are multiple points where you can choose high and low routes. Um, and I think we've chosen the high routes in all sections. So I think it comes out as about 120 kilometers total. And I think there's the quite varied landscape um, will be walking along a lot of water for a lot of the time, but um, yeah, we should see people using the, the canal for, for kayaking and, and potentially boating as well. So yeah, looking forward to it. nearly at the Corpac um, Canal Locks office, uh, which is where we're going to pick up, pick up the key. And you can just see back there where we came, um, Fort William. So we've just walked around here 
and just going to be heading down here a little bit further and then heading to the Caledonian Canal. So we just picked up our key. Um, so it's just from here at the Corpac C C Lock office, um, and uh, it was basically ten pounds per person, and that basically just gives you access to toilets and there's even I think some drying areas and showers along the way. Um, so the majority of the Great Glen Way actually has access to these to these facilities. There are some areas where it, the path diverges from the canal, so you. Um, you know, you, you move away from some of the facilities, but the majority of them you actually have access to, so we thought it was well worth it. And the cost helps maintain the facilities. So. Yeah, right, so yeah, well worth cost. So that boat back there was um, traveling up Neptune's staircase, which is a series of eight locks, um, which takes you from a low point up to a, obviously a much higher point or vice versa in the canal. Um, and I think it takes about an hour to get through um, as you kind of go to each lock and wait for the water to rise or fall um, and then move on to the next one. So quite a nice spot to just sit and watch boats pass, I think. Morning. Yeah. So it's about midday, and we've just stopped for a little break for a, a brew and some a little bit of lunch. Um, so we just sat on the side of the canal really and uh, probably got another five or so kilometres until we get to Gerlocky and uh, the start of Loch Locky. So we've just arrived in Gerlocky and this is one of the facilities uh, buildings that you actually have access to with the key. Um, so inside there there's toilets and showers as well um, and they're really clean and very well maintained so that's kind of what the, the money goes towards. So we're going to be heading just around this corner um, and just around there will be Loch Locky which is what we're going to be following for the rest of today to our wild camping spot. Um, probably another 
10-ish kilometers, maybe eight to 10 kilometers today. Um, and that will take us to the wild camping spot. And hopefully there'll be somewhere there for us. Um, hopefully there hasn't been too many people overtaking us on bikes. Um, so yeah, that's where we're hoping to find a spot for tonight. First view of Loch Lockie. Just about to see it there. stream here for us to get a wee bit of water. section has just been really quite lovely just tracking the shores of the lock and just surrounded by native woodland just arriving at the glass door uh, trailblazer rest site so here, here's some composting toilets we can use later um, looks like the doors are either not locked or the locks are broken but um, those are composting toilets and then down this way we should be able to find somewhere to, to set up camp So there are quite a few spots to choose from um, around here. The, the lock is just over there. The shore of the lock's just here. Um, it was quite a good spot there actually, just on, on the beach, but it looked a little bit uneven. So um, we're just actually gonna go, I think, gonna just pitch up around here. Um, it looks fairly flat and not too many roots. So I think that's our plan, just get set up um, and then get our food and go and probably cook on the, on the beach. Right, that's our camp all set up. 
um, just using the extra set of poles to to pull the, the tent out at a right angle here um, just helps keep this away from your head when you're inside and we went with 120 centimeters height for the poles for the for setting up just give a little bit more of a gap under here to help with condensation since we're in a forest um, but yeah so we're just going to probably get our bits now take them out to the to the shore and um, cook up some dinner and then we'll probably come back and set up the inside of the tent for sleeping so while we're waiting for our food um, so we ended up doing about 35 kilometers or so today um, some of that was because we had to go back to the you had to go kind of back on yourself to go to the um, the canal lock office to pick up the the key um, but yeah it was mostly quite easy going actually it was very flat um, the entire path is meant to be usable by uh, bikes and and um, hikers so it's it's pretty easy going and um, you don't really need to watch your feet you can kind of just walk so we managed to do it quite relatively quickly i think it was about seven or seven and a half hours of walking um so how do you feel about the great Glen way so far love it yeah favorite bit i like the native woodland after the canal native woodland after, after the canal yeah it was yeah. lovely um so yeah we're just gonna get our food to boil now uh, the water to boil, add to our food and probably have a cup of tea after that and then head back to the tent. So we'll see you tomorrow for day two.